Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video guidance series, in this video, I will be guiding you all how to download and install Atmel Studio for free and get started with it. In this video, I will give you the link where you have to download and uh, what are the steps to be followed. You, uh, I will be giving the link in the description. You can directly click onto the link and go to this page and select this downloadable link because this is uh, recommended by them itself. It is an online uh, downloader uh, which cost 2.5 MB initially and later on the rest. And there is another version uh, which is an offline downloader so you can download everything at once and install. In this you have uh, all the user agreements. If you have plenty of time you can go through it or else uh, just agree and press next and make sure you click all these three radio buttons and this one too. If there are, if you can see all uh, as screen ticks it indicates that you are eligible to install if not you have to correct uh, that error and you have to continue your installation again so once you press it uh, the file uh, will get started to A download moments later. once it is downloaded and installed uh, it will launch the Atmel studio automatically So you here you have the user interface of Atmel Studio 7 which is the latest version available. In this when you start a new project you have many things but for our project we will be using GCC executable file format uh, which will be written in either C or C++ version. After selecting that you can give a name to your project and you can select where you have to save it and then press ok now in this uh, all category change it to atmega family and in the atmega family make sure you select atmega32 Here you have the Atmega32. Once you have selected, it will show all the details regarding Atmega32 microchips. And then press OK. So, tada! This is where you're going to write all the codes which you're going to execute using your microchip. Here you can explore all the toolbars like file edit view windows insert and more uh, so on in this uh, you have the debug option uh, which will allow you to check uh, your code and you have the build option uh, where you can build the hex version of your code which you're going to upload into your microchip later on so build uh, you building your code uh, will be useful to you in order to build the hex file of the code you write so that's all for now hope you enjoyed the video